<laughs> different party, don't have to touch it. But looking at electromagnetic induction and one simple demonstration to see what happens when you put an iron core into the middle of a current carrying conductor. So what we've got here is a simple circuit, just a power supply on AC, lighting a light bulb, going to a coil of wire. Okay? And all we're going to do is simply dip a iron core into the coil of wire to see what happens. What will happen? What should happen? The light should get dimmer. So let's go on. Three, two, one. Let's put it in. Simple as that. Very dim. Take it back out. What is that process called? Backing. Backing. So it's not a self-induction. It's backing. What you're doing is you're inducing. In fact, what's happening here anyway, there's a normal current, AC current, <coughs> going through the wire. There is a, that AC current has got a magnetic field associated with it. That magnetic field is going to induce a second EMF in the same coil which opposes the first EMF and therefore reduces the current. So that's what's happening anyway. So if I took this piece of wire here and just straightened it out, what effect would have brighter or dimmer? And that's not a bad way of explaining it. If I took that coil of wire and just the same coil of wire, straightened it all out, what effect, if any, would it have on the light bulb? What we've got is a coil of wire. We've got an EMF being induced in a coil of wire. What direction is that EMF acting in? It's opposing. The size of the EMF. The size of the EMF is determined by. Remember from from your man's law, Faraday's law. It's n times d phi dt. The more turns you've got, the greater is the induced EMF. From Linz's law, that induced EMF is opposing the first one. So if instead of having, in this case, a thousand turns, if I got rid of all those turns and straightened it out, I'd be reducing my back EMF by a factor of 1,000. So there's not as much back EMF, therefore this would get brighter. And the second thing to bear in mind is how big this back EMF becomes is, sorry, the size of that back EMF is increased by just putting in an iron core. So there's two EMFs going on. There's an EMF is a fancy word for a voltage. There's a voltage coming from here, and there's an opposing voltage being generated here, opposing the first one. And the size of that opposing voltage is increased by putting this into it. Okay? The second way it would be increased is if I had more turns. And if you reduce the number of turns, you've got less back EMF. So if I take that, straighten it all out, you still have the same resistance associated with it, because the wire still have the same resistance, but there would be less EMF generated back in. Application of this, less EMF, I should say, yeah, less back EMF induced. Where is this being used? Indust or outside of the classroom? Dimmer switches. Dimmer switches. And there's more so industrial dimmer switches than the small ones you have at home because the industrial ones still have big, clunky rods like this going into a core. Whereas the ones you have at home are more electronic based and they work on a different principle. Okay, that's that. Thank